So we just landed. We are in West Point, which is a it's like a complex of apartments and like it's kind of like a hotel basically, uh, a hotel apartments to be more accurate. Yeah, so we just landed and yeah, I'm so excited. As you can see, I've done my um, lemon braids in bright yellow because you know I did not come to play. I literally did not come to play. I'm here to shock. Okay. So I think, are you shocked yet? <laughs> it's my first time in South Africa. As you know, my husband's from South Africa and we're here to see the family. And uh, Lucky's mom is here. And uh, we flew in with Tiffany, who's here as well. And we've got some cousins over at the moment. They're just in the front room. So what happened was, when I got to the airport, everything was just fine. You know, we flew from um, we flew from Heathrow Terminal 2 straight to Istanbul, which was about a four hour flight. And then from Istanbul, we went directly to Johannesburg, Tambor International Airport. It took about nine hours. Uh, we now landed here. Um, got my suitcase. What happened to my suitcase? Let me show you what happened to my suitcase. Look guys. Look at my bracelet. Someone tried to put a screwdriver in there. You can clearly see that thing's been tampered with. So now I can't open my suitcase. This is where I got all my stuff in there. So this is the only small suitcase I have, but this is obviously the handbag. And I only had these items in here. Literally that and my shoe and a top and a bottom. I ain't got no I ain't got no light like I don't know. Because this is what I flew in with. I flew in with like a converse shirt and like my Adidas like leggings. But I'm literally sweating. Like, much and like I don't know what to do. I actually don't know what to do. I have no clothes. First day in Johannesburg, I have no clothes, so I don't know what to do. So either we bust open the suitcase, but then obviously I won't be able to close it back up, and I mean to have to get a new suitcase. I'm trying to do that because my suitcase is match for one, and I'm trying to get a new suitcase. So then I have to change that suitcase as well. So it's kind of all kind of a palaver. So we're just trying to find a way to break the lock without tampering with my actual suitcase so we'll see how that goes but yeah everything was fine until this point i was just i just came to unpack and just the unpacking as well just the unpacking as well it's like headache you see everybody is in the front room trying to figure out how to open my suitcase only things like this can happen to me but yeah i'll let you know how it goes if not i have no clothes i i, I literally i had no clothes like i can't wear that i can't wear high heels everywhere i literally i can't wear one wearing that because it's sweaty it's soaked okay it's soaked so i'll tell you what happened hey guys so i've had a lovely fresh shower i've just done a quick makeup so it's nothing too dramatic it's literally just basic like highlights blush eyeliner no eyelashes eyebrows and here i am wearing a t-shirt with tupac giving the finger not to you guys not to my subscribers but to the haters the haters out there the guy they got shit to say to those people and i've got cycling shorts and yes i'm rocking slides because it's hot out here ain't nobody got time for that so yeah hey guys so i'm in the car we are joined by yours truly Yo, 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 yo. And you are? Nkosi. That's Nkosi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Nkosi. That's Nkosi. What yeah. are you? What are you to Lucky? He's my. Let me say he's my brother. He's your brother. Well, brother. <laughs> this is our guy. He's gonna show us what's going on over here. We're not gonna gas you people up and tell you what's coming, but you're just gonna see what's coming, and yeah, we're just and gonna loud. we're just gonna do our damn thing, and you're gonna wish you was here, bruh. Anyways, we're not sure where we're going right now, but we're just heading out to go see Momzy. And after we've seen Mom, we're probably gonna head out and do some shisha and see town and all that stuff. Um, Tiffany's in the back with um, Cyprian in that car. They're just heading out. So basically, the place we're staying at, you need to do a fingerprint checkout before you leave. And because everything's checked out on the Lucky, he needs to do the fingerprint before the car. All fun. But anyways, join us. At Take Johannesburg. <laughs> 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 
So you can see from the statue side. Mm. Okay. So wait, you're gonna show us around? Yeah. You're gonna be the guy. The guy for the for the Of course he's the guy, he's the plug. Yeah, you can pay for it. Yeah. I'm the lucky chosen one. Yeah. yeah, okay. You talk to the people, man. <laughs> so we've got the Nelson Mandela on the side, I'm sure yeah. people know the letter of the Nelson Mandela. Yeah. Uh, so everybody comes here, that's yeah. where you find comfort in South Africa first. Okay. Especially if you, no, if you do everything that you do, you include Mandela. Uh. It's just a smile to everyone. Hey. So you can see this one of the spots, the wow. big bar, the section. Wow. So we in for a, a live setup coming in there. Wow. But yeah. So it's about to be a show now? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a live show, so yeah. you know we need to include Mandela, it's everything good. Yeah. Let's see what they have for us. Okay. But in the meantime, we're going to find some place to sit down. Hey guys, so we're in this restaurant called um, Trump. Yes, there is it. Yeah, it is. It's called Trump. And let's Trump. It's called Trump, not Donald Trump's restaurant, so don't be alarmed. Oh yeah, no, 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 we wouldn't be eating So Trump. the guy talking is actually this guy. We wouldn't be eating in Trump's, Donald Trump. Will any of us eat in <laughs> Donald Trump's restaurant? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, just to confirm. Would we eat in Donald Trump's yeah. restaurant? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Would we eat in Donald Trump's restaurant? No, no, no. What? no. Donald Trump's restaurant? The Donald Trump's no. restaurant? Hell no. Even if you paid us, no. Bro. <laughs> Some of the house. You know what I mean? We wouldn't eat, I wouldn't want your water even. Your water, keep it, man. I'd rather starve and die of thirst. Get me? <laughs> Anyways, guys, as I was saying, we're in Trump's restaurant. It's not Donald Trump's restaurant. <laughs> just to it's reiterate Trump. that. It's just called Trump. It's like this, and it's in um, the Nelson Mandela oh, 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 oh. shopping mall. I don't understand the word, why this guy the word Trump existed me. before Donald Trump. Yes, we know that. I just want to get that clear. The word Trump existed before Donald Trump. We know. Anywho, I was just about to tell you about the food, but obviously I'm getting interrupted. But once the food comes, I'll show you what the food looks like. I'll give you my honest opinion of the food. And yeah, let's start this food. Plate is empty all around. Plate is empty. Look at all those bones. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, his. that's his. That's, that's his. his. I've done a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say I've done a good job. Yeah. I've done a good job. Well done, Lucky. Did well. 
Let me see how was your meal. It was awesome, but I'm doing mine a takeaway. So this is going to be my breakfast for tomorrow. I've got my salad, got my veggie burger, got jack potato, got some sour cream, ketchup, and some mushroom onion sauce right here. But it's all takeaways. So it's all good. So don't yeah. worry about that. Following them, can you become? first day because yesterday we landed but we still did a lot of things so just waking up and uh, he's making breakfast at the front room but yeah i mean guys it's beautiful out here the weather is brilliant the pool is looking very tempting yeah we're just gonna eat first and then we're gonna wait for Nkosi and Lucky's brother so this is after slay, pre-slay, post-slay, post-slay. Push. How do you push it? I'm pushing. Push harder. I'm push. You push. You push. Push. Yeah. <laughs> we are on the way to the pool side. So we're still at West Point. Um, outside the apartment buildings, right up there, they've got the pool area. We're just just about here. People lounging, taking it easy. Wait, can you spot our room from here? It's up there, so. <laughs> it's one of these ones. It's up there, so. We're on the sixth floor somewhere, so. Yeah, right now we're just coming to just check out the pool. And as I promise, I'm gonna take some pictures. Um, earlier I did a little quick get ready with me, so to see how I completed this look, please subscribe and make sure you check out all my videos. It's probably gonna be under the makeup tutorial videos. But yeah, so your girl's out here in South Africa doing what she does, you get me? But you know, this, this, I don't know, this is country, look at him. Bro, it's hot, bro. <laughs> He's acting like the proper foreigner. <laughs> like people think I'm the foreigner. Hey. I'm not the foreigner, look hey. at me, with my Gambian hey. self. Hey. I'm still here, hey. involving. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Where's the boombox? Ah. Don't mind these shorts. <laughs> ah. The nudity alert. <laughs> So what's up, Tim? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you wasn't getting in. I know. Oh. Good evening guys, I just wanted to wish you Merry Christmas, it is officially Christmas, it's 1am, okay, it's 1am, so it's Christmas day now, so we're in a new day, so to celebrate Christmas, um, uh, my husband and I, Tiffany and Cyprian, we're going out to a rooftop party, and uh, yeah, it's going to be lit. It's in Johannesburg. It's literally about 10 minutes from here. It's an all-white party and there's going to be a bunch of celebrities there. I'm not really too familiar with who they are. But um, obviously, I can't bring the vlogging camera. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, Snapchat it. So just keep watching and I'll insert some snaps after this little section here. But yeah, I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas first hand here. And for my all-white party outfit, I've got this um, shirt which I've made into a dress somehow. I bought this corset from ASOS. It's very, like, it's all right. Like I put it back to front, but you can't really see it. And I've got shorts underneath, so I don't think I'm w walking like this on the road. And for shoes, I've got my sandals. Listen, I know about the high heel life. Like, girls, girls, I've got flat feet, okay? I've got flat, wide feet. I don't have time for this. Listen, my husband loves me as I am. I don't need to go to impress anybody. I know. Yeah, I don't mind people that wear heels and everything. You know, if you can keep it cute like that, girl, you're special. But me, me, I can't. 30 minutes. If anyone else, if there's anyone else, 
like that in this world please comment below because i feel like i'm the only person who can't walk in heels for more than 30 minutes and it depends on what kind of heels like i think if it's got a thick platform i think i can last but i think platforms are kind of out now i'm not really sure i'm not really with the kids these days but i think platforms are out so everybody's doing these little skinny heels so i'm like missy can't walk in no skinny heels girl not for more than 30 minutes unless that car is taking me from point a to outside point b and I just, I literally take two steps to get to the destination and sit down or like lean somewhere <laughs> for the rest of the night, I'll be fine. But if you, if you requested for me to dance all night in high heels, no, it's not gonna happen. It's not, it's just not gonna happen. It's like, it's not realistic. Like, do you know who I am? Like, I can't with the heels all day. No, anyway, so as you can see, I'm still wearing the makeup I did with the tutorial I did earlier. But it's coming off. But because we're literally just gonna stay in the place for like an hour, because tomorrow morning we have an early wake up. We're going to a new location where mom's booked, um, I think, a five bedroom house. And we're gonna stay there for like a night and just celebrate Christmas properly there. So, literally, in about six hours, we have to get going. So, that's why we're only going to this place for like an hour, just show face and part a little bit and come home. Because, like, Missy likes her sleep. Missy, call me old, call me whatever. I like my sleep if I cannot get eight hours of sleep listen I'm not gonna function the day after you can't ask me for things if you ask for direction I will lead you to the wrong way if you approach me when I'm hungry and I'm cranky and I haven't slept you're not gonna get good answers back so yes I need my eight hours sleep call me old or whatever but my body is like you know you get to an age where you just need to listen to your body like you know you've done the pretty thing and I'm in pain thing but like this age is like I'm comfortable people today I'm comfortable See you tomorrow. Keep watching for the snaps. So we're staying there for two nights, so um, we know nothing about the location apart from that all of us are going to be staying there for the next two days. Um, the guys are just getting the last luggage inside the house, but yeah, um, what happening? So we're going to arrive in Kosi's car, I think it's that white one, and then the rest of the family is going to get in the big van. But yeah, it's going to be a road trip, so let's go. So we basically, it is, I always say to you guys, it's a secret location till you, till you fly. I think it's 10 hours, 16 hours, sorry, 16 hours. But you can see the beauty of the nature and everything. We're heading to a Mahalisbeg, it's about 20 miles from where we are. So you guys stay tuned for more. We're heading there. For more turn ups. And what's happening here? There's more so yeah, 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 we've got three cars. We're just trying to refill and make sure everyone is sorted. I don't even know who's on the other car. I'll say hi to everyone when we yeah, get there. Okay. But as I said, everyone can stay tuned, eh? What's this place? Oh, this is... What's uh, the word? What area? Lanzeria. Lanzeria. So, we've got an airport down there. Can you see flights? Can you see flights departing? Can you see a flight? Oh, yeah, can you see a British the, Airways flight? Yeah, can you see? Yeah, yeah. I can see it. It's yeah, going on the right. Too, yeah, yeah. Back, that's yeah. a British yeah. Airways flight uh, okay. owned by SAFA. Okay. Departing 10-hour flight non-stop to the UK. Wow. That's the Lanzeria International <laughs> Airport. But you cannot get tickets there. You buy from the main yeah. airport. Okay. They fly you there, fly then in. they depart you there. Oh, wow. Security reasons. Yeah. Oh, we've got a good convoy or some good so cars. This is where all the celebrity comes, like when Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Beyonce and everything. Yeah, Jay Z okay. was Jay Z landed here. Yeah, Beyonce, okay. yeah. Barack Obama, everyone. Yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone touches stuff. Okay. Remember, we've got Rick Ross in the country. Yeah. He's, he's got a private jet, right? Oh. It's in there. Is he still in the country? Uh, Rick Ross? Yeah, yeah, Are you yeah. Here? Hello. Rick Ross is in the country. Come on, pick us up, man. If we Take come, us America. If, if we come back down, yeah. I'll show you his flight. He's got yeah. this big face, you yeah. know, with the beard, like me. I mean, do I still have the beard? Okay, I think South I do. South Africa is Rick Ross. I see it. Eh, eh, eh. We need to this. We party it. We party it. We party it. 